Hi, this is Helena and welcome to the CrocoBlog channel. You don't always need WooCommerce to sell certain goods and services, especially one-off, highly customizable or limited edition items, whereas simple direct purchase flow is faster, easier and far more flexible than setting up a full WooCommerce store with extensive customizations for its layouts, card flows and so on. In this video, I will show you how to make it with Jetform Builder using the Jet Engine plugin as well to store orders properly. I will create an online shop offering custom 3D model files that clients can have printed at their 3D print shops or on their home printers. I will already download the Decor Jetform Builder plugin from the WordPress plugin directory, but I will also use few paid add-ons for Jetform Builder and this is how to install them. Go to your account at jetformbuilder.com and download just one add-on you need. I will download the Advanced Color Picker. Click on the Purchase Details section, View Details, and copy the license key. Go to your website dashboard, Plugins, and manually install the add-on you've just downloaded. Next, navigate to Jetform Builder Add-ons, where you will find the License button on the top right corner. Click it and insert the license number. Now you can install and activate all the premium add-ons right from here. I will also need the drag and drop file upload one. Click install and then activate. I will use PayPal as a payment gateway, but if you prefer Stripe, it's also one of the premium add-ons. I've already set up this page for purchasing custom 3D model files. The price depends on the complexity. A simple model starts at $30, while a highly detailed design with moving parts can go up to $120. These prices are obviously only for demonstration purposes. You can also have a pricing page like this and create three separate forms for each option. It's the most straightforward way, but I will do it a bit differently and fit everything in just one form. To implement it, I will create a form with all the options instead of building this page with pricing blocks and connecting three separate forms here. Let's build a form. Add a new form, delete all the blocks that are already here. First, I need to add three options for different model types. Simple, complex and very complex, each with its own price and description. I can, of course, use the normal radio field input, but I want it to look fancier, so I will use the advanced choice field. It works just like a checkbox, but it contains more elements. You don't have to style Jetform Builder's forms right in the block editor if you use Elementor or Bricks, as they have a dedicated widget with very detailed styling options for each field type. The advanced choice field, though, is a bit of an exception. Actually, it does have some controls here. You can choose between vertical and horizontal layouts, alignments, adjust how the items look on hover and on active state. Additionally, you can adjust colors, margins and patterns, but for more complex styling, you should use some CSS. Why, you might ask? Because it's not just a field, it's a group of items, and you can add basically whatever you need here different blocks, images, even videos. So it's very flexible. But because it's up to you what to add here, the more hand-picked styling is required. By default, it looks like this. I want to add price and description here. So I add a paragraph block for the price and a list block for the description. I will style only the first item and then duplicate it for the other two options. To ensure these three items have the same width and height, I click on the item, go to Advanced and add the CSS class Model Item. Then I will add a class to the parent container item holder. Later on, I will add some CSS using these classes. 
I will add CSS classes for the paragraph and list as well, to have full control over the styling later. But you don't have to. There are some controls on the right panel. Also, you can use advanced blocks, such as Cadence blocks or other plugins to add more styling without writing CSS. Now I will delete the other two items and duplicate this one here, because it has all the necessary classes already. Don't forget to change the labels by clicking on them and the values by clicking on the item. Also here we have the important fields called value for calculated field. Put the right numbers here according to the price. They will be used for the total price calculation in the future. And I will add images, of course. In the control settings, I will choose images for the inactive and active states. But you can just leave standard radio control. Save the form and click the Preview button. As you can see, because the text length varies inside the items, their width differ as well. Now I need to know exactly which HTML elements my options are, so I open the inspector and see that this is a list. Perfect. Now I can go to Customize Additional CSS and add the little styling ul.itemholder align items stretch then li.modelitem flex1 with 30% so all the items have the same width and height as you can see the layout has changed the advanced choice fields are ready and look good on the front end don't worry about the appearance on the back end and we are done with CSS styling in this form, as the rest of the fields can be styled visually using Elementor's or Bricks dedicated widgets. This form can be multi-page, but it's more convenient to add the page breaks in the very end to preview and style the whole form at once. Now I will add a field for name, then email, in the field type Choose Email, you can also use the Autocomplete option. Then it should be a block where the user uploads their photo or drawing of the model. I will use the drag and drop file uploader I've installed earlier. Here, add the label, upload your photo, drawing, and the description with clear instructions on what exactly to upload. This field has quite many settings, but first of all, I will open an access for all the users, including guests, so the customers don't have to register. But you might want them to register first, and you can easily create a custom registration form with JetForm Builder. OK, upload on form, submit. Maximum files to upload, let's make it two. Then I can control the maximum file size, let's say 5 megabytes. Also, the file types, let's make it PDF, JPEG, PNG, SVG, and whatever formats you need. Here you have the option for image dimensions and quality. It's the option we don't need here because it would change the quality after uploading them. And here you can customize labels and visibility. OK, this field is done, and now I need dimensions for the future model. So add the heading field first. I want the dimension fields in one row, so I will add three columns here and three numeric fields. And I will also add a simple text area for the customer's comments. We're done with compulsory fields, 
and it's time for additional services. So I will add one more heading field here, additional services. I will have three services here, priority, multicolor model, and printer settings. Priority is a simple radio field, and I will add options manually. Pay attention to this Calculate field. Add the additional price for this service here. It will be used in the final price calculation. Now the multicolor model. It's a radio field too, with yes, and the price is $10. And no, price is zero. Now I want users to choose the colors, but only if they have chosen yes. It means that I need a conditional block. In the conditional block settings, choose the previous field, equal, type yes, exactly how the value is. Now I will add a color picker. They are the premium add-on I've installed in the beginning and the description for this color. To make these two fields to be in front of each other, I will use two columns. Then I can duplicate the columns, but I should carefully change not only the labels, but also the values to be unique. And the final optional service. Add printer settings. It's another simple radio field and the price for the yes option will be 10. Perfect, the final field I need is the calculated field to calculate the final price. Here I simply add up all the fields that have a price using the range icon. Don't forget to add the Submit button, let's call it Submit Order. Save the form and let's test how the calculation works. It works great! Now I need to add Payment Gateway and style the form. Go to JetForm Builder Settings in the dashboard and click Enable Gateways and Enable Test Mode. Here I will need my PayPal client ID and secret key. For PayPal, I need not a usual interface where you make payments, but the developer.paypal.com. Here I have the Sandbox mode activated, so I can test how it works without actually paying anything. Once I have my client keys ready, Let's revisit the form and check out the new gateway settings. I choose PayPal, click Edit, and choose Use Global Settings and click Update. OK, it works. Now two more fields appeared for a currency code and for the field in my form to fetch the amount to pay. I fill it out and save the settings. Now let's style the form. I will use Elementor, so I choose the JetForm widget and select my form. In JetForm, I have styling option for all kind of fields. Okay, the form now looks pretty good, and it's time to go back to post submit actions. Open the JetForm tab, add save form records. And here I can even select to save a user journey. And I also want to send an email to the customer and a copy to the admin. Here using the macros I can insert the values of all the fields. To make it fancy I can create a PDF and attach it to the email. For that, I will need to install one more premium add-on.
I can add more actions here, but what is really missing is storing orders properly. Of course, they are saved in the form records, but it's not really a convenient way. Jet Engine has a perfect tool for storing things that don't require a front-end template. Custom Content Types Records are stored in the dedicated database table, so it's great for website performance. To activate it, go to Jet Engine Jet Engine and switch on the Custom Content Type module. Now let's create a custom content type for storing the orders. Click Add New, let's call it Orders, and add all the fields that the form has. It's quite a simple task, but I want to draw attention to two things. When you create a corresponding radio select or checkbox fields here, copy the values from the form, as they should be exactly the same as in the form. And second, to store media, choose text field here, not media or anything. This field will store URLs of the uploaded files. If there are more than one file, it will store all of them in this one field separated by commas. Also, for your convenience, choose some understandable fields to be displayed in the admin columns, for example, name and email, so you will see who made the order. When all the fields are there, let's get back to the form and add the Insert Update Custom Content Type action. In the settings, map the form fields with the corresponding custom content type fields you've just created. Save the form and test it. To test payments in PayPal's sandbox, you'll always see a login screen first and must use a sandbox by your account. For real card, Apple Pay or Google Pay payments, you need a PayPal business account in live mode. So we've created a form for selling digital products and services that stores orders on the website and includes a working payment gateway. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and join us in the next video.